I think there are two ways that the average investor should think of investing. Uh, one is, um, are you going to create a good strategic asset allocation mix that is a balanced portfolio that means that you're not going to go to the betting table and bet against active investors like me? Look, mm-hmm. look I'm, I'm scared of being wrong in the markets. It is not easy to win in the market. It is more difficult to win in the markets than to compete in the Olympics. H- hang on a second. Hang on a second. You guys have an extraordinary track record of winning. Yeah. Is it harder to compete in the markets today than it has been since you founded Bridgewater? No, I don't think so. Really? Not the way we do it. And the reason I'm saying not the way we do it is we don't take systematic biases. I think for a lot of people, they're systematically long everything, you know? And so we have a world in which they're, when the world gets bad, it's bad for them. In 2008, it was Great for us. I don't know. We had nearly a 10 percent return in 2008. So we have the opportunity to go either way. We just may be wrong <laughs> if we're wrong. So so I'm so scared about being wrong that it has helped reduce my chances of being wrong because I'm so scared. I won't take bets that I'm, you know, that I don't feel good about. And we diversify our portfolio. And that's how we 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 have the track record. I was just commenting in terms of. I see. Um, let's say so. I'm, you asked me about investors, so I'm trying to go back what an investor well, should do. Well, and, and, what sa- you, and what you think is appropriate. Yeah, for so your here's what I'm trying. What you guys are doing. Well, I want to just convey to investors. I think in the average investor, most everybody don't compete against uh, pros like ourselves or other people. Don't making tactical asset allocation bets or moving around in the markets because you're probably going to lose. It's difficult for just us. We put beta, hundreds just by beta for 15 put, basis points. We, we, no. no you have to have a, deval- a balanced portfolio. In other words, think about how, you, how you're going to have a balanced portfolio. What you know is that asset class as, as a whole, over a period of time, are going to outperform cash. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the most thing that you could be most comfortable with. If they don't, you have a depression. The only times that that hasn't happened. But to, to, to know how to achieve a balanced portfolio, and that's a whole other subject I don't know that you want to go through. If you're talking about tactical bets, in other words, I can come on the show and I can say, I think this is good. But then what happens is if, if I come a, a month later and I th- then change my mind because something has happened, then I'm, I'm going to leave some, I'm going to mislead people. So the, the tactical bets I don't think are going to be helpful. I would say um, that we're in an environment in which it's very important to have a well-diversified, and that'll include assets like, to some extent, maybe a little bit of gold in your portfolio. Um, in other words, uh, what could I tell investors? Try to achieve balance in various ways. That's a whole subject about how to do it. And also, um, I, I, I think that, um, that you know, gold, uh, you know, at five percent of your portfolio, five or ten percent of your portfolio, under the circumstances, would be uh, also a prudent thing to do. Prudence is the important thing to do. The reason I'm also referring to that is we have a situation where a debt is money. In other words, we have a fiat monetary system, too. And so we're having problems as these central banks operate. And so the, it's a, think of it as another form of cash. And when cash now has zero or, or um, zero percent interest rates or less, think of it as one of those possibilities in terms of how do you, how do you create diversification?